So this was the first sight I got when I went there. Um, I saw the, the male mating with a mare who just had a foal. Uh, she has the mare foal, which is lying down. And it wasn't clear if she was receiving his sperm because she was moving and moving and moving all around, but she had no choice except for being there. You can see the wild, wild white foal, uh, very interested, very smelling. Uh, there are pheromones that the white uh, foal is one year of age almost now and he's very interested so everybody was sniffing and looking around and, and looking at the situation but the stallion but they he was chewing snapping uh, snapping down at the right you see the daughter of the of the mare and here you see the white foal uh, fleming 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 so it was a very interesting situation you could see the mare her foal from last year the stallion and here again the white foal walking behind the mare of course, the pheromones, uh, which are in the air, which uh, the mare represents, are very strong. Um, but I could see the there's an interaction between the mare from last year. You can see on her, could see on her tail that she was insecure. Um, Stallion, who is mating, is of course a very powerful horse at that moment. So horses are uh, the foals are very careful. Then he was just walking by, and I could see that the mare was peeing. So I'm not sure if she received his sperm but that's not very important here you see the white foal she's now going back to her own foal here you can see the white foal the yearling um, smelling and uh, fleming and taking all the pheromones he was very interested later on i saw him also meet with uh, another yearling but that's another story let's keep, let's stay here everybody's now grazing uh, around and there was some commotion so they united and after this, looking back, <laughs> very strange photo, looking back at the stallion, submission again, snapping towards the, the stallion. Um, and there's the foal from last year who's watching, uh, watching the situation. Here you can see that the foal, the, the, the filly, who was a mare, she didn't notice anything. She was very deep sleep. Anyway, here we see uh, the cattle, even the youngsters are playing already. Okay. So this was the commotion afterwards, uh, the horses, do you see the foal, uh, the filly, uh, no, the foal, colt, only a few days old, uh, it was, the observation was on Wednesday, I think, and this was, no, Thursday, and the foal was born, here you can see the mare peeing, so it's, um, I'm not sure if she received the sperm, and the left foal is only a few days old, he's from Sunday to Monday, so he's only three or four days old, and at the right you see the foal, the filly, the mare, uh, and you can see the, of course the white foal smelling and smelling and smelling, who was still asleep, and she was very very deep asleep. So not long after this uh, the group moved, moved away, and this was a nice impression of uh, the newborn, the foal from last year, and the mare who was just mounted, it's the same mare, uh, and after birth, they get in season very soon. They get in season a few days, or sometimes one. And here they're moving. The herd, more or less herd, uh, are moving. The family group. I would call this a family group because it's a fall from last year and, and the newborn. So everybody's moving, going to another place. Uh, and you can see the, the lineup, the mare in front, uh, the filly in between. And there goes uh, the mare. So they go to the other side of the group. So here's the impression of the, the foal, one of the foals, you can see the blonde one at the right, the two black mares, there are three black mares in, in total, and I made this movie so I could count how many individuals I see, and I didn't count the newborns. Here you see the stallion again, male, female foal looking, cattle, and at the back there was my, I call her my friend, I don't know why, there was another mare with her which was born last year and another youngster so this gives an impression of how to count there they are. it's still pretty hard to find the individuals because they uh, the wind moves the main so it's sometimes it's not really reliable how many I see and which ones I see because the, I, I have a system uh, Mains to the right, main to the left, uh, but the wind plays with it, so I 
like to focus on the mares that I can easily recognize so I can make my observations more reliable because if you don't know the individuals you only see horses moving I think you, you see only horses moving that's interesting of course also but it's more it, it all becomes a, a story when you know who is who which is very important and soon there will be uh, there will be several removed I think they're going to take away the males because they don't want to fight uh, I'm sorry for that because it's actually become more interesting if you do keep some males like the white foal who is very I think he's a very smart guy I don't know why I mean, probably it's, it's just an interpretation but I would be very curious how he would develop as a male anyway. mare guarding her foal looking around raising perhaps nothing special for people who are not interested <laughs> stretching leg the youngster of course lies down a lot and here you see the, the, the mare foal who's abandoned no that's not really true but the herd the mother also moves on moves along and then oh, it's a safe place so there's no need for, for them to stay very close to the foot. i think i you know, was a little bit too enthusiastic with filming because now i see the camera is moving a lot also yearling mother and her foal from the last time she will have a baby soon she's also pregnant everybody's actually pregnant except for the stallion of course and the youngsters Paul woke up and has to find his mother her mother this is the mare I think she will become blonde too now she's looking uh, who is mom she just went to the wrong mare and the wrong mare indeed gave her angry face Kevin. nothing special yeah. so she has yeah. to move on and now you can see her yeah, blocking her mare today. her mother this is a behavior that, that foals do they, like to develop. they have to be aware of who is mom there's the other one when i woke up it's still a little bit oh, he's not very self-assured yet on his legs his legs are far too long compared to his body whinnying walking towards mom who's not far away M mother stay closer to the foals when they're just born a few days old he's now looking he's still a little bit sleepy falling over his own legs foals really have to learn how to walk they can move but they really have to learn how to walk and now he's reunited to his mother you can see he has a very strange way of drinking he's, he's I saw that several times that he was drinking like this really standing next to his mother like normally do but has his own way now moving the, the, the flank of the mare to, to get milk stallion black mare other mare and here he was again interacting with the mare shouting smelling and go on these kind of in interactions happen continuously there's another foal interesting hey what are we going to do submission towards the, the male and they walk home 